Hello everyone, my name is Susmita Rai, role number 18 NS0027 from Namchi Kaumin College. I'm here to make a video for the possible fulfillment of BSc honors on physics at 6M which carries 25 marks instead of 25 marks practical exam. Before beginning my video, I would like to thank Department of Physics and Dr. Sipi Khatiora of our college of Sikkim University for providing me such a wonderful platform to make a video. My topic for the video is R theta and phi solution of hydrogen atom. So, uh, before discussing about R theta and phi solution of hydrogen atom, let's talk or derive the Schrodinger wave equation for the hydrogen atom because after deriving the Schrodinger wave equation only, we can fully understand how to derive the R theta and phi solution of hydrogen atom. To fill the Schrodinger wave equation, that is, Hamiltonian of psi equals to e psi we need to add the specific for the system of interest like hydrogen or hydrogen like atom we know that hydrogen atom consists of a nucleus and one electron uh, we can also uh, write either helium plus ion or lithium 2 plus ion because these two are hydrogen like at atom uh, these two have the same type of Schrodinger wave equation as that of hydrogen except they are values for z changes that is for hydrogen atom z equals to 2 for helium plus ion z equals to 2 oh, sorry for hydrogen atom z equals to 1 and for helium ion z equals to 2 and uh, lithium 2 plus ion z equals to 3 and all the rest values remains the same now uh, let us talk about the you know, potential energy uh, potential between the two charges is best described by a coulomb term potential energy v can be best described as V uh, in terms of R. Now let us consider a nucleus having a charge of plus ZE uh, and, and an electron uh, with a charge of uh, minus E uh, with a distance of R between them. Uh, small letter M is the mass of electron and capital letter M is the mass of a nucleus. Therefore, uh, potential energy Vr equals to minus Ze squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Uh, here Ze equals to charge on the nucleus and epsilon naught is the permittivity of vacuum or the free space. Now, uh, when the system consists of two masses, we can define the radius mass as 1 by mu equals to 1 by capital letter M plus 1 by small letter M equals to small letter M plus capital letter M divided by capital letter M into small letter M, which implies that mu equals to small letter M into capital letter M divided by small letter M plus capital letter M. Uh, hydrogen atoms Hamiltonian is uh, minus h square divided by 8 pi square mu Laplacian operator minus z is square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r since h bar equals to h by 2 pi therefore uh, uh, we get h equals to h bar into 2 pi substituting the value of h equals to h bar into 2 pi in this equation we get as uh, minus s bar square divided by 2 mu Laplacian operator minus z is square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r Schrodinger wave equation of hydrogen atom in a pol polar coordinate is minus h bar square divided by 2 mu bracket open 1 divided by r square partial differential with respect to r of r square into partial differential of sine with respect to r plus 1 divided by r square sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential of psi with respect to theta plus 1 divided by r square sine square theta into uh, second partial differential of psi with respect to phi square minus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon 4 pi epsilon naught r into psi equals to e psi so reducing this equation we get 1 divided by r square partial differential with respect to r of r square into partial differential of psi with respect to r plus 1 divided by r square sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential of psi with respect to theta plus 1 divided by r square sine square theta into uh, second partial differential of psi with respect to phi square plus 2 mu divided by 
uh, 2 mu divided by h power square into e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r into psi equals to 1. This equation uh, becomes equation number 1. Now, separating the radial part from the angular part, we get psi is the function of r theta as well as phi equals to capital letter r is the function of small letter r into y is the function of theta and phi. This becomes equation number 2. Uh, here we can see that uh, y does not depend on r. Uh, therefore, the equation becomes uh, partial differential of psi with respect to r equals to partial differential with respect to r into y equals to y into partial differential of capital letter r with respect to small letter r. Uh, this becomes equation number 3. Similarly, uh, we can see that um, r r also does not depend on angular variable that is theta and phi. Uh, therefore, from the above equation, uh, from from the equation number 1, we get uh, 1 divided by r square partial differential uh, with respect to r of r square into partial differential of r with respect uh, partial differential with respect to r of r into y plus 1 divided by r square sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of r into y plus 1 divided by r square sine square theta into uh, second partial differential of r into y with respect to phi square plus 2 mu divided by h bar square into e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r y equals to 0. So in this equation, uh, we can see that in this first term, here y is constant, in the second term, r is constant, and in this third term, r is also constant. Therefore, we can write this equation as y divided by r square, y is constant, therefore it comes here, dy dr, um, here we can write the complete derivatives because capital R depends on the small letter r only therefore uh, uh, this equation therefore we can write like this plus r divided by r square sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential of y with respect to theta plus r divided by r square sine square theta into uh, second partial differential of y with respect to phi square plus 2 mu divided by h bar square h by square into e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r into r y equals to 0. Therefore, uh, multiplying this whole equation by r square and dividing it by r y, we get this following equation. We get this following equation. Uh, 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 this first term and this fourth, fourth term has So from this equation, we can we can see that uh, this first term and fourth terms depends on the uh, depends on the radial variable, and the second and third terms depends on the angular variable that is theta and phi. Now uh, let us uh, let us only take our radial equation that is this first and fourth term. Uh, that is 1 by r into d by dr r square into dr by dr plus 2 mu r square divided by h bar square into e plus z e square divided by 4 by epsilon naught r equals to some constant. Uh, we give this constant name as a. Therefore, um, we get the following equation as the final equation as d by dr into r square into dr by uh, dr by dr plus 2 mu r square divided by h bar square into e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r into r minus a r equals to 0. Uh, this whole equation is the radial equation. We give this equation as our equation number 5. Now let's talk about the angular equation. Uh, we have already derived the angular equation in equation number 4 that is uh, 1 divided by y sine theta into partial differential with respect to 
theta of sin theta into partial differential of y with respect to theta plus 1 divided by y sin square theta into uh, second partial differential of y with respect to phi square equals to minus a. Uh, we take minus a as a constant because in radial part a is taken so it should be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction therefore we take minus a as a constant therefore multiplying this equation by y we get 1 divided by sine theta into partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential of y with respect to theta plus 1 divided by sine square theta into second partial differential of y with respect to phi square plus a y equals to 0 and therefore this equation becomes equation number 6 which is the angular equation here a is a separation constant now separating the angular part into polar and azimuth part now uh, we know that angular part still contains the term theta and phi which depends on both therefore we need another separate uh, separations of variables uh, therefore we will replace y which depends on theta and phi equals to function of theta into function of phi which becomes equation number seven now replacing y and the differential in equation number six we get uh, 1 divided by sine theta and um, partial differential with respect to theta of sine theta into partial differential of theta with respect to fun uh, with respect to function of theta into function of phi plus 1 divided by sine square theta into uh, second partial differential with respect to phi square of uh, function of theta into function of phi plus a function of theta into function of phi equals to 0 now uh, now uh, by again calculating this equation we obtain this certain equation now uh, multiplying this equation by sine square theta and dividing it by function of theta into function of phi we get this certain equation uh, in this equation we can see that this term this term 1 and term 3 depend only on theta and this term 2 depend only on phi therefore let's take this first term as b and the second term as minus b therefore taking b as a separation constant we obtain the equation as we obtain the equation as sine theta divided by function of theta into a differential of sine theta into differential of function of theta plus a sine square theta equals to b therefore um, by further calculating we obtain this equation that uh, that is 1 by function of phi into differential of function of phi with respect to phi square equals to minus b therefore by further by further calculating we obtain this equation that is sine theta divided by function of theta uh, into differential of sine theta into differential of function of theta plus a sine square theta minus b equals to zero this equation is a polar part equation and one by function of phi one by phi into a differential a double difference double differential of function of phi divided uh, with respect to phi square plus b equals to zero is the azimuth part mm, solving the azimuthal equation solving the azimuth equation uh, as we know that the azimuth equation is one divided by function of phi uh, second differentiations of function of phi with respect to phi plus b equals to 0 second differentiation of function of phi with respect to phi plus b into function of phi equals to 0 it is second order ordinary differential equation we take b equals to m square therefore putting the value of v equals to m, uh, m square in this equation we obtain the equation as uh, second differentiations of function of phi with respect to phi plus m square 
into function of phi equals to 0. Therefore, the equation becomes function of phi m equals to 1 divided by root over 2 pi into e to the power eta m phi where m equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on. Here, the angle the angle phi is the azimuth and m is the integer number. Uh, the constant m is called the magnetic quantum number and it represents the quantization of z component of the angular momentum. Uh, Lz into 1 divided by uh, root over 2 pi into e to the power eta m phi equals to s divided by 2 pi eta into partial differentiations with respect to phi of 1 divided by root over 2 pi into e to the power eta m phi by further calculating this value we obtain m equals to h by 2 pi into 1 divided by root over 2 pi into e to the power eta m phi. Thus, the permitted values of z components of the angular momentum of the electron are given by the expression m into h by 2 pi that is m into h bar. Therefore, we found the solution of phi dependent equation here. Now, let's find the solution of theta dependent equation. The equation given here is sin theta divided by function of theta into d by d theta of sin theta into d function of theta respect to theta plus a sin square theta minus m square equals to 0. Rearranging this equation, we find the equation as 1 by sin theta into d by theta of sin theta into d function of theta with respect to theta plus a minus m square divided by sine square theta into function of theta equals to zero. Uh, we can express the equation depending on cos theta rather than the theta itself. Therefore, the solution becomes p cos theta equals to function of theta into theta and x equals to cos theta. Uh, therefore, dx by d theta, d theta equals to minus sine theta which implies d by d theta equals to dx by d theta into d by dx equals to minus sine theta d by dx. Uh, therefore, substituting the value of d by d theta equals to minus sine theta d by dx, in this equation, we, found the, we find the equation as 1 by sine theta into minus sine theta d by dx into sine theta into minus sine theta into dp by dx plus a minus m square divided by sine square theta into p equals to 0 uh, where sine theta sine theta it gets it gets cancelled the further equation becomes d by dx into sine square theta into dp by dx plus a minus m square divided by sine square theta into p equals to 0. We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. Therefore, sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta, which we can write as 1 minus x square. Therefore, in place of sine square theta, we put this value 1 minus x square in this equation. So, the equation becomes d by dx. Uh, into 1 divided 1 minus x square into dp by dx plus a minus m square divided by 1 minus x square into p equals to 0. Uh, the further equation becomes 1 minus x square into this uh, 1 minus x square second differential uh, sec second differentiation of p with respect to x plus uh, minus 2x into dp by dx plus a minus m square divided by 1 minus x square into p equals to 0. 1 minus x square into second differentiation of p with respect to x minus 2x into dp by dx plus a minus m square divided by 1 minus x square into p equals to 0. In this case, uh, in this whole equation, the difference is that the coefficient of this differential is not constant but always depends on the x. 
uh, therefore to solve this equation we have to use associated Lysander type differential equation um, uh, we can also say this equation as associated Lysander type differential equation the solution we obtained is is this one where n is a normalization constant and n equals to 12 plus 1 divided by 2 into l minus magnitude of m mm, whole factorial divided by l plus magnitude of m whole factorial to the power 1 by 2 um, and by further calculating we obtain this certain value in this case x equals to cos theta uh, therefore this solution are obtained provided the following condition are satisfied where l equals to 0 1 2 3 m equals to 0 plus minus plus minus 2 and so on to the so on to plus minus l where we can write a equals to l into l plus 1 uh, as we took b equals to m square in the previous section Therefore, the quantum number L is called the azimuthal quantum number or subsidiary quantum number. It represents the quantization of the square of the total angular momentum. Now, uh, solving the radial equation. Uh, as we know, the radial equation is, is d by dr of r square into differentiation of capital letter r divided uh, with respect to small letter r plus 2 mu r square divided by h bar square into e plus z is square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r into r minus a r equals to 0 instead of a we write as l l plus 1 applying the product rule in this equation we obtain the certain equation and again dividing this equation by r square we obtain the value as uh, second differentiations of r with respect to small letter r plus 2 by r into uh, differentiation of capital letter r with respect to small letter r plus 2 mu divided by h bar square into e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught minus l l plus 1 divided by r square into r equals to 0 uh, for very large value of r uh, we can uh, we can see from this equation that if uh, if the if the value for r is very large this term this second term and this fourth term will become zero because it is because it has the reciprocal of r therefore the equation will be like this The equation will be like this. Uh, second uh, differentiations of r infinity with respect to small letter r plus 2 mu e divided by h bar square. This term e plus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Here uh, it should be r. Mm. Therefore, uh, this term will also be 0 therefore 2 mu e divided by h bar square r infinity equals to 0 this equation is just like uh, uh, just like this therefore uh, we find the value of r infinity as some constant n into e to the power iota root over whole whole root over 2 mu e divided by h bar square into r therefore the, the equation will be r infinity into capital uh, small letter r into b naught into e to the power 2 mu z e square r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into h bar square into n 
where Z is the atomic number and N is the principal quantum number of the system. B not contains L independence. Therefore, so from the radial part energy of n labels comes to be En equals to minus 2 pi square mu z square e to the power 4 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught whole square into n square into f square where mu is the radius mass and e is the electronic charge. Now putting the partial solution together we find psi which is dependent on r theta phi equals to r is the function of small letter r into um, function of theta into function of phi equals to n into r and l into small letter r into p m l cos theta into e to the power i theta m phi uh, therefore, from this solution, we can see that radial wave function only depends on n l n. Radial wave function is considered as r. Polar wave function depends only on l and m, and that is theta. And azimuth wave function depends only on m only. Therefore, when n equals to 1, l will be 0 and m will also be 0. When n equals to 2, l will be 0, m equals to 0. When L equals to 0, M equals to minus 1, 0 plus 1. Uh, likewise, when N equals to 3, L equals to 0, M equals to 0, L equals to 1, equals, and M will be minus 1, 0 plus 1. And when L equals to 2, M will be minus 2, minus 1, 0 plus 1, and plus 2.